UN officials warned Monday that community hostility in Chad is rising as thousands of refugees from conflict-ridden Sudan continue to arrive, putting pressure on limited resources Chadians depend on for their livelihoods and survival. People in Chad have been displaced from their home own communities because the pressure of the many refugees that have arrived has even pushed them further into the country and displaced them from their natural homes, said Madeleine Alingi, Secretary of the State of Economic Prosperity and International Partnerships in Chad. She said, We really think that if we do not take care of the host communities, this hostility, the tension can be brought up and we can have instability in that region. Eastern Chad is facing an unprecedented new influx of refugees and returnees from Sudan. The UN Refugee Agency reports nearly 490,000 Sudanese have sought refuge in Chad since April 15th, when armed clashes between the Sudanese armed forces and the Palamita Rapid Support Forces plunged the country into a catastrophic war. The UN has sailed projects more than 600,000 Sudanese refugees and Chadian returnees will arrive in eastern Chad before the end of the year. Chad is living in an unstable regional situation bordered by countries in a state of crisis, said Alinge. Our border with Libya is in crisis, so is Niger, the Central African Republic and Sudan, she said, noting that Chad, with its open-door policy, has received many refugees fleeing the surrounding countries in crisis. The Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs reports 5.7 million people are food insecure with 2.1 suffering from acute hunger. People have just gone through the worst lean period in a decade, said Violet Kachomia, UN Resident Coordinator and Humanitarian Coordinator in Church. UN officials have been meeting with international donors in Geneva to describe the dire humanitarian situation in Chad. The UN is also seeking is seeking to persuade them to fill the large funding gap threatening the ability to aid agencies to respond to the food, forced displacement, health and climate change emergencies facing the population. Resident coordinator Kachoma Kachomia said the response to Eastern Chad must be multi-dimensional. It is not just a response to the refugees but a response to the needs of the host community is crucial. This is very fertile ground for social instability and conflict, she warned. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload new videos. Peace.